Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Wolf Pup 16BHS. If you're looking for a lightweight bunk model, this is a pretty common floor plan, and Wolf Pup definitely has some great features that may put it above the competition. So let's start out right over here on the kitchen. So if we look up top, you will see that you have your controls right up here for some of your lights as well as your power awning and then TV hookups are there too. As far as storage up here, first off I'll start off by saying they do have nice brush nickel pulls, you know, kind of helps uh, really accent the darker wood color. If you look up there, you do have some good storage, perfect for some of your spices or even if you want to put plates or cups up there, you can easily do that as well. Over to the side, you have your stainless steel microwave with the hood underneath that does have both light and fan. If we drop down to the countertops here, you see the beautiful thermoformed countertops, two burner cooktop right here, single basin sink with the high rise faucet. You'll also notice you have an electrical outlet right back here. So if you do need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever else, you have a good spot in which you can do that. Tank monitoring panel is right above that with both your water heater and water pump control. Underneath the sink, you have a couple of shelves. So that way it gives you good storage for pots and pans, or if you want to put some cleaning chemicals under there, you can do that too. You'll see your direct vent furnaces right over here. Uh, the thermostat for that is actually on this wall right here. This one does have a roof mounted AC, but the controls for that are on the AC itself. Rounding out the kitchen though is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. We'll open this up for you, you can take a look. You have plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. In the very back here is the bathroom. You'll see right there is your foot flush lever toilet. And then right over to the side is the tub shower. The nice thing about a tub shower in a bunk model is if you have smaller kids that are used to taking baths, they can still do that. Also, because the tub has a higher threshold, the curtain tends to stay behind it. As you take a look, you also notice you have a hand wand in there to make showering nice and easy. And then up top, you have the vent so you can quickly help moisture escape, as well as an LED light so you have light at night. Over here to this side are your two bunks. If you notice, you'll see you have dual USB ports on both bunks as well, which are great. That way, if you know the kids need to plug in tablets or cell phones, they can do that. You have a window on the top there too. And if you take a look down underneath, you have an LED light as well as the door to the outside. Now, the reason you have that, and I'll show you that a little bit better when we go outside, but you can actually flip that bottom bunk up and that gives you a ton of great storage. So that way you can use that door, load everything up there, unload it from that door as well. Uh, you know, again, that is an excellent feature in this floor plan. When we take a look up top here, you have a multimedia center right there. That one does control the speakers in here as well as the ones outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. Also, you have storage running the whole length right up here above the dinette, so some good additional storage. LED lights underneath again. You have the window right there, and then down here is your dinette. Great thing about this is it does drop down into a small bed as well if you need it to. You just remove the legs here, table drops down on these rails, take the back cushions, put it on top, and that gives you a nice sleeping area. Otherwise, this, uh, this table here, this dinette, is essentially built for two. If you need to plug anything in, you have this right here. This is accessible, obviously, from the dinette as well as the queen bed. Again, dual USB port and a standard 110 outlet. So if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can plug that in there as well. When we look at the bed up front here, this is a 60 by 74 RV queen size bed. You have the kind of headboard there at the top, which is nice. Again, so as I mentioned, you have to put your CPAP machine up there, you can. Windows on both sides. The larger one there is an emergency exit. But underneath here, you see you have an LED light. And then you also have storage across the top. Now let's talk about some of the outside features of the Wolf Pup 16 BHS. Starting off right up front here, folks, you have a 20 pound propane tank. Behind that, you will see rails there for your battery. And coming up the front is diamond plating to help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. The front end here is a smooth aluminum rather than the ribbed aluminum. It gives it a much nicer appearance and also it's a little bit easier to clean this. This is generally what gets dirty when you're towing it down the road. All those bugs that get over your tow vehicle smash against this front end. So having that smooth aluminum is pretty nice. 
Plus, you have the big, awesome wolf on there. So, you know, again, even at the campsite, it has a very aesthetically pleasing front end. When you come around to this side here, you will notice this one also has solar prep. So if you want solar, buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. The front storage compartment shares the storage underneath the queen bed. You can look right here, big storage. The queen bed does lift up. There's a handle inside that you can lift up at, strut supported, easy to open it. But again, this gives you another access point to that storage. Power awning on here, folks. Touch button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And as you can see, it also has the blue LED light underneath there. So that way you have light at night. One of my favorite parts about the Wolf Pup though are probably the steps. And I'll show you why. So starting off, you have this extended grab handle, a foldable grab handle. So that way you can fold it when you're driving down the road. But otherwise, it's nice and easy. It gives you excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. More importantly though, is the more ride step system. Uh, you'll see it is unique. They do have the design on here for the Wolf Pup, which is pretty cool. But also folks, you wanna talk about stability, this is it. I can jump on these steps and you'll see they aren't moving. So if you're sick of having the steps as you step on them, they feel like they're gonna to fall to the ground, then you certainly won't, uh, you won't be upset with the steps here. That more ride step above system is awesome. Making our way back a little further, you see the outside speakers here. As I mentioned inside, those are controlled by that multimedia center. LED lights in them too, give it a really cool look. You also have a TV mount out here. So if you want TV, you can uh, mount it right there. The connections for that are right over here. If you take a look, you'll see your electrical outlet as well as cable satellite right over there. So we come around to the back side, a couple quick features here. You'll see the square tubular bumper with the end caps. You can pop those end caps off so you can slide your sewer hose in there. Because the last thing you want is your sewer hose hanging out in the storage underneath your bed. And then right here is your spare tire with a cover. Hopefully you never have to use the spare, but if you do, it's probably one of the easiest places to get at right here on the bumper. And the cover there makes sure it will be in good shape when you have to use it as well. Then we come around to the off door side. So as I mentioned, you have this door right here. This is probably one of the uh, cooler features of this style floor plan. And what you do is you lift this up. Now, uh, every manufacturer has a little different way to hold this up. This one just has this nice easy clip. So you just kind of clip it in like so, and then it stays right there. But if you look inside folks, you get all this storage in here while traveling, which is great. So, you know, you can load that up and again, even when the bunk is down, you still have access to anything that you had underneath. If we take a look right underneath, you will notice your termination. Both your black and gray tank valves are located there. Up this way a little bit is your detachable 30 amp power cord. And lastly, right up front, you have the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Both of your connections for your water right up here, city right there, and next to that is your fresh tank fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Wolf Pup 16 BHS. If you're interested in this small little bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.